Hey everybody, Hiker James 52 here. Let's go geocaching. This is a, a diner, I think. I'm not sure. But it's a, it, it, it used to be a passenger train. Pretty neat. Yes. And we found the cache. And just like they said, it was, look at these wheels. Wow, they're as tall as I am. Almost. Anyway, we found the cache. And it was up here. A little bottle cap, micro. So we signed it and put it back. Whew. It is warm out here today. All right, I'm going to back up and get a view of the whole thing here. If I can. Whole steam engine. Number 917. I hope I don't trip over something backing up. Anyway, there it is. Oh, steam engine. 917. Look here. It looks like it's moving. There's the coal car. And then we have a passenger car behind that. Now, we also found this. It was uh, just a little train that didn't go nowhere. But I guess the kids could get on it. Kind of neat. If you're a kid. You got the caboose. I used to call them ookie bookie when I was a kid. It even has the little steering wheel on the back like they <laughs> like they used to have. Then we found this sign here. We, we don't have any guardians with us, but... Huh. Welcome to play at your own risk with guardian permission. So, we got a lot of things to show here, so we're gonna, we'll be back with you here in just a show. And there we have a bucket scoop. An oldie. There we have an old buck wagon. Oh yeah. Then we found a bull. But then we found a cowboy. And I think they're standing each other down. Oh, who's going to move first? Oh no, we found out what they do with the Michigan fans. Yeah, they put them in that scoop bucket. All right, there we got a little caterpillar, a little hand crank there on the front of it. Road plow. That is old. And then uh, got the two wheels up there where the guy turns the wheels to uh, whichever direction he wants the blade to turn. And then we got these gears down here that turns the um, direction of the grader. Wow. This is this is a cool cache to come look for. Oh, here we have an Indian on his horse. 
with his teepee. But I doubt if uh, he lives there. If he does, it sure is air conditioned. So we're gonna come on down here. See if we get close up to this guy. I thought this was interesting. I don't know if we can see it or not, but it's the, I guess the tongue to one of the cars. And there's a view of it. And there's the view, yeah, there's the view of it from uh, the bottom side here. But here's, uh, we found out how they, how much they like the uh, Michigan fans. So we'll give you a little zoom shot of that. Michigan fans must park across the street. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching.